cruising down the Kakbuck East Pass on our way back from Kakakama Private Nature Reserve. You can see a beautiful kopi in the in the distance. This is on the way down to Kalfinia. There's another Kakbuck East Pass a little bit further back on the way to Obtiberga, but I prefer this way slightly less well there's not really much traffic on the other way but nice smooth gravel roads yeah good twisting turnings coming out of the Cedarburg down towards the road that you can either go left to Colfinia or right to Sierras you can see starting to slowly drop down you can see this escarpment in the in the background. If you go a little bit up and then to the left, you get to uh, Africa Burn at uh, the Tankwa Karoo. Beautiful part of the Western Cape, this. Often, the skies are often like this, cloudless. Got a little bit of wind in our, our week at uh, in the Cedarburg, but nothing too bad. Pretty, pretty shrubby sort of foliage. Not that thick, so it's it's good for fires. Uh, they don't spread as as quick up here as compared to, say, Cape Town, what they just uh, experienced with thicker fynbos. Doing probably about. 80 kilometers an hour here. Nailed this and X Trail. Opens up beautifully. Mainly sheep farming up here. As you can see, the road's very quiet. Some more typical Cedarburg rock formations on the right. probably see a few jet streams here as well. This is just above the route from Cape Town to Joburg. A lot of low-cost airlines in South Africa now. You can fly pretty much under a thousand rand anywhere. So the skies have become quite busy. Slightly, slightly rocked at the road here. Yeah, I think they've been having some... Must have had some rains. The roads definitely aren't as good as Last year, regular horn for me. This carrying down the mountain, nice little bump that. Best to have your car on four wheel drive coming down here. If you get it wrong on some bits, it's a bit of a drop off. Cedarburg, home to what well, well, used to be home to the, a lot of Khoi San people, a lot of Bushman paintings. Not to do if you're into the outdoors. Very high altitude here. We're dropping quite a bit here. The Kakakama must be about 3,000 meters above sea level where we stayed. Just coming down, down the mountain. Probably good if you're into endurance training high altitude stuff come to the top of these Cedarburg mountains you get nice dry dry air very thin good to get the blood levels up bit of high Hungarian Rhapsody in the background yeah partial bit of the old classical music So we come down, this is a long ass road, one of many good passes in South Africa which we will be bringing to you on scenic drives of South Africa. We'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. There we go, starting to get to the bottom. A little bit of mining activity on the left there. A little bit of tar here, I guess in, in winter 
this is the steepest section coming up here, so you want to you want to make sure you're in the business of being in business. I mean, you don't want to be redoing this tire, be redoing the gravel all the time. We're knocking it up to about 90-100k here. Uh, using a Sony action cam here. Good, really good battery life, much better than the GoPro, which I think is a little bit overrated in the action camera department. You don't want to be going off the right here, you're going to have a long way to roll down, ladies and gentlemen. On she goes. It's a nice little campsite coming up on the right here. Best kept secret in town. So we've got a bright area, so if you ever on the outers, there you go. And you need a place to stay, pop in there. I've done that before. The Cedarburg is one of those places where you can just stop the car in the middle of nowhere and, and sleep the night. Not really need to plan too far ahead, which is just the way I like it. You can see a little jet stream on the top there. Pretty rocky, rugged terrain. You can't really do much out here besides sheep farming and probably aloes. Don't get that much rain in summer, that's for sure. And it's like an average degree of about 35 to 40 degrees coming out of the Cedarburg, yeah. Tankwa Karug to the left. Making a beeline for the series direction but we instead of going to series and getting blocked and all that that crap bang it down here and then take the toes over turn off on the N1 lovely skies big sky country so Sutherland just up the road where the biggest observatory in, in almost the southern hemisphere is so if you're into stars Star guys and come check out the sea bird. Parfinia or something in this sort of neck of the woods. This is my favorite battle road. It's just great. And you can really start to wind it up. I've done 160 on this in a, in a disco, but that's a story for another day. Have yourselves a good day, ladies and gentlemen.